Hi, I am Dr. Rehan Zephyr. In this video, we will make complex heat map. It will contain heat map, frequency plot, dendrograms and color representation of different variables. We will start with the introduction of the data. After that, we will see the related code for making the heat map by using complex heat map package. So grab a cup of coffee and enjoy. Suppose you have a table. Uh, not this one. This one. Here you can see different columns and rows with values R, S and I in the cells. Above that, you have major columns which represent that each two columns are under this one. Similarly, each two rows are under one major row. Then by using this data, we want to generate the heat map. Over and above, we also want to show the major columns and rows in the information along with it. So in this video, we will see this happening. So let's move forward. Take a look at this data which we will use to generate all those plots. Here in the first column, we added IDs of the rows or samples. Second column represents the location of the data from where these have been taken. As you can see in these columns, there are two rows for the representation of the values. In the first row of the column, we have defined the class and in the second row, we have mentioned the subclass. The classes are repeated in some cases to define the subclasses. These are the values R, S and I. Let's save this as CSV file for later use in R. Let's open R Studio and make a new script file. Here you can paste the code which I have given in the description of the video. For the time being, I am not interested in writing the code again, so I will move forward by using the HTML file to introduce the steps. First, we will install some packages. If you have already installed these, then we can skip this step. I have combined these with hash mark in the start. You can remove hash and can run these. After installation, we can call these libraries. Now we will set the working code for us. We need to change the backslashes to forward slashes in the path of the folder if they are copied from the windows address bar. We have a file named astapac.csv in our working folder as set above. We want to read the data into an object mydiv underscore orange. We will do this by using the function of read.csv. Moreover, we are not interested in getting the data with headers. If we see the data, then there are R, S and I in the cells with some row headers and column headers. The first row starting from the column 3 in the data represents the classes of the columns as was shown in the excel file. The second row starting from column 3 represents the subclasses. The first column with the header isolates represents the IDs of the samples and second column with header location represents the area of sampling. Now we will remove the void space around the text of the data. Here this operator is a specific operator available in tidyr, dplyr, tidyverse packages etc. In the following code, trimws removes the leading or trailing white spaces from the character strings. Mutate all make it easy to apply the same transformation to multiple variables of the data. Now we will extract the row names and column names from the data. Row names from the first column can be obtained by using this code. mydf is the object in which our data is presented. Whereas squared brackets with the one after the comma represents the column. And likewise, we can get the column names from the second row which are represented by this code. Now we will remove first and second row from the data. Here negative sign represents not and C represents the list of first and second row before comma. Now we will order the data according to second column and later remove the first and second column as well. If we look at the class of mydf then we will see that it is a data frame. We want to convert it to matrix by using the function of as.matrix. You can save it as csv as well if you want by using write.csv. In complex heat map, we want to generate a heat map of values R, I and S. Along with it, we want to identify rows as IDs and columns as subclasses. Moreover, the locations which were given in the second column of the original data will be used as colored annotation along the rows and classes as colored annotations for the columns. A dendrogram will also be generated both for the rows and columns for classification. At the top of the heat map, we want to generate a graph for the frequencies of the values R, S and I for each column. Therefore, following things will be generated. So let's start with the first annotation of the classes. We want to make specific rows and columns from the original data which was mydiv 
underscore orange which is first row excluding the first two columns so the first row excluding the first two columns will be taken as the annotation for classes as you can see there some values are repeated so you want to take only unique names among it here t represents transfers if these are in the row then these will become columns and vice versa we want to count these unique names and save it for later use these are 11 and we can get uh, the total numbers by using the function of length so we want 11 different colors from our color brewer however it only gives nine different colors therefore we need a function which can generate as many colors out of these nine colors after scaling we will make a function of get palette by using color ram palette and brew poll color ram palette returns a palette generating function and takes an integer and generates a palette with that many colors so brew poll makes the color palettes from color brewer available as our palettes different sets are available however we are selecting set one for now now we can generate a many colors by this function though we want only those numbers for colors as stored in color count antibiotics object these are hex codes for the colors if you really want to see them then you can issue show call uh, function for these colors now we will generate a name list which will merge classes and colors in a list so by using this a function of set names we can merge both of these values in which one is the value for the classes and another is the value of color now you are ready to generate the first annotation of classes for our heat map we need to give this annotation as antibiotics suppose we need to identify these antibiotics versus their list of colors so by using the heat map annotation function of the complex heat map package we can generate this annotation so we will perform the same steps as given above to produce the annotation for locations as well therefore refer to above discussion for some of the explanation we want to take second column from our original data after that we will remove the repeated values uh, we will uh, produce the length of these values and according to the length we want to take the colors uh, for the series from set 3 set 3 is the specific uh, set of colors uh, from our color brewer uh, after that we will make a name list for, of colors against cities and generate the row annotation of heat map this time you can see over here that we have generated the colors and the annotations uh, for the rows we will generate three different colors according to our choice for these three different conditions of our INS and an object condition colors and make a name list from this an object which will be named as condition colors list instead of set names function here we are using structure function this will also produce the same name list of colors against conditions i have also used here the set names function for the comparison only we want to add dendrogram both for the columns and rows in this heat map on this character data in our case we will use string this package we will write a function which can make a dendrogram after approximating the string matching this package performs approximate string matching fuzzy text search and string distance functions suppose we have two objects fa and fb as below composed of same characters then the distance between them will be zero and the distance between these objects will be high with different characters we can see the distance between two columns and two rows in our matrix mat so now we want to calculate the frequencies of r i and s in our data column wise with respect to antibiotics for this we can use table function as given below on the first column of the data my df laply can also be used to calculate table on complete data however we will do this in this way we will sort out the unique factors which are i r and s in our case after this we will make a data frame by calling do.call this constructs and executes a function provided with the list of arguments we are binding rows by r bind which will be obtained after performing the laply on table function for these factors we will add the header of antibiotic in first column 
after that we will transverse the total we will take first row as a column name and later delete this row later we will change the class of this object to numeric now we can generate the annotation of frequencies plot column wise we will take the same colors as given in this object for filling and coloring the bar plots now we can generate the heat map we can directly save it in png file to our disk however i have commented first and last line and you can uncomment these if you want most of the arguments are self explanatory i will introduce our variable generated in this exercise only mat is our matrix of failures call is equal to conditions underscore colors underscore list is the name list of our conditions versus colors bottom annotation is the annotation of antibiotics at the bottom top annotation is the annotation for frequencies right annotation is the annotation for location cities clustering distance column is the distance calculation between the columns i have commented the clustering distance rows is equal to dist letters you can generate the dendrogram between rows as well however if you will generate then it will affect the order of the rows which are currently sorted ascending for the location or cities let's make a correlation plot as well for the data we have an object total t calculated above we can calculate the correlation of the antibiotics by using the frequency values of i r and s we will use core function for this i am giving the here two ways to generate correlation plots you can select any one of these as per your choice we can use heat map pre package as well and uh, calculate the p values for correlations following plots can be generated if you want by using ggplot all of this code is given on the github repo and uh, that's all from my side uh, thank you very much for your consideration and uh, complete watching this video